Hi, my name is Wayne Dobson. I'd like to ask you one question. Have you ever wondered what magic would look like if you were sat right next to the magician? Well, tonight, I'm going to allow the cameras to get closer than they've ever been before. The magic will happen so close, you could almost reach out and touch it. Nice applause to Stanley. Thank you very much. And good evening. And thanks for joining me at the bar. You know, a lot of people say to me, they say, do you know how a magician manufactures cards? Well, I'll tell you. You see, it all starts with a card very similar to this. They're actually blank. Blank on both sides. Totally unprinted cards. All right? Like so. And all you do is you think of a card like the Ace of Clubs, and it pops the Ace of Clubs. But unfortunately, it has no back. No back, just a face. If you want to think of another card, like, um, let's say, the... King of Clubs, up pops the uh, King of Clubs, but it has no bag. Huh? Think of a card, any card, John. Six of Hearts. Six of Hearts. You see, it's just like the press. It never prints what you say. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Now, but it has no back. So if you want to print a back design on this deck of cards, you have to think of one, um, like this blue geometrical one, like this. You just think of it like that, up it pops. Mm. The blue geometrical back. But unfortunately, it has no face. Now, if you want to print a whole deck of cards, like 52 faces and 52 backs, what you do is you snap your fingers and you get a complete deck. <laughs> I've got to tell you, it's the applause that ruins the trick, because they always go blank again afterwards. You see? Very simple. Now... Would you like to look at those? I thought you might. Now, this is... Uh, no, I'm, t I'm, I'm kidding. You see, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this deck and place them inside the case that they came from, all right? You just slide it in like that, all right? That's all you do. Would you hold out your hand for me? That's excellent. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place that on there like so. Now, if I do that underneath... Do you know why I do that? Because I like it. <laughs> A lot. I know, it's good, isn't it? Huh? Now... But if you do that, what happens is the cards completely disappear. <laughs> invisible cards, they are. But now we're going to use some invisible money. This... No, really. This is a purse. Well, it's just a frame okay. that has invisible material there. Invisible velvet. Feel it. Can you feel it? That is my best trick. It's no longer velvet, it's now felt. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know. Now, yeah, you can't see them, but you can actually feel them. They're coins. Take it out. Good. Have you got it? Good. Take yours. Good. Got it? Mm -hmm. Take yours. That's uh, excellent, and one for me. Now, <laughs> I'm going to take this tray over here and remove this decanter and these two glasses. Now, Sean, do you have a big glass? I don't, know. No, I do. <laughs> what I'm going to do is cover that up like so. Do you have a very pretty handkerchief? Not on me. At no, the I do. Now, <laughs> this... <laughs> what I'm going to do is cover up the glass like so, or the two glasses, should I say. Okay, I'm going to take your coin like that, the invisible one, mm -hmm. okay, and you throw it towards the glass. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> now you're impressed, right? Yeah, Especially okay. if there was a coin inside there, like so. Yeah? It's a foreign one. <laughs> it is. It's a half dollar. Flying eagle. All right? Important. Now, I know what you're saying. Oh, he did that with the cover-up. Right? Mm. This is without the cover-up. Leslie, would you mind tossing the coin in the air, like so? It goes right up, heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails. Comes down, <laughs> down, 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 like so. And lands right in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Can I take this one? Thank you. Please. Oh, all right. OK, then. and what I'm going to do, this is really impressive. I'm going to actually throw it around the studio, and it goes up there and across there, around there, and just... Would you move your head to one side? Thank you very much indeed. It goes through there, in there, and lands like <laughs> so. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? Huh? 
That's three down, one to go, which is mine. And I'm going to take mine and I'm going to place it right up inside the handkerchief, like that. Would you mind taking hold of that for me? That's excellent. Now, I must do this quick before the dove dies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pull the handkerchief away and what happens is the coin vanishes. <laughs> <laughs> It's now travelling through the air invisibly. We'll go through there, down there, and into the glass, like so. And inside there is four coins. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. A miracle for Robert. <laughs> well, thank yes, you. why not? Rather appropriate. This is a key, OK? Not the key to my heart. All right. It's an illusion. An illusion is something that could be happening, but it's not. It's like economic recovery. Could be happening, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> You'd know about that, yes, honestly. <laughs> now, this is... Uh, <laughs> what I'm going to do is um, move that around there. Does that look like it moves? It does, doesn't it? I mean, yes. it actually... Yes. It does, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. that actually looks like it actually goes around there. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> Yes, it does, yes. doesn't it? Yes. Yeah? And if I push that along there, it looks like it actually moves, <laughs> it moves <laughs> along there, That's doesn't it? Amazing. Doesn't that look weird? You can actually make it go to the back as well, but you need about three seconds for the super glue to set so it's solid. <laughs> Try that. You'll find it's very solid. Yeah? <laughs> uh, try, is that solid? Yes. It is, solid. isn't it? Uh? Yeah. Very, very solid. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> now, um, this is something very, very special. Have you any idea what's in here? Yes. Debbie? Seeds? No. I'll tell you what's in it. Checkers. Oh. And that's the closest you're going to get. <laughs> <laughs> now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the blue checker to the top, like so. OK? Mm -hmm. Goes right to the very top. You can see that, can't you? Now, all you do is a snap of the fingers, like so, and the checker, <laughs> or the blue one, goes back Brilliant. to the middle. Isn't that good? That's really good. And there's no room to move whatsoever. <laughs> Nothing at all. Now, this is, this is the best part. You actually cover that up like so. The blue checker... Have you ever done magic before? <laughs> No? no? Just wave your hand over the top. It does nothing, but it looks good. <laughs> All right, and what actually happens is the blue checker then goes to the bottom, One. like so. <laughs> and there they all are. And a souvenir for you. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Okay. My pleasure. My Always pleasure. Check <laughs> now, we're going to do a card trick. All right, this is a card trick. Now, Lisa, would you be kind enough to shuffle the deck for me? Shuffle. Just right. give them a shuffle. Excellent. Now put them back in the same order that they started. <laughs> <laughs> Would you check and make sure they're a normal pack of cards? They look pretty OK. They're completely yeah? normal. I wouldn't let you see them if they weren't. <laughs> I promise you. OK? Right. Now, what's going to happen is... Um, would you be kind enough, Jan, to pull any card from the spread? Any one at all. And don't look at it. Just, like, sort of... That's good. You mustn't look at it. And take this pen. This is a permanent pen. It says there... Oh, it's rubbed off. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes? I'd like you now to sign your name rather large across the back of the card. Very large. All right? Just sign it across the back of the card. All right? That's your name, Jan. And your phone number. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? No, I'm only kidding. No, I'm only kidding. Oh, what a shame. And I'd like... Can I... T I don't want to see the card. Would you be kind enough to place it back on the top of the uh, deck there? That's good. And what I'm going to do, would you cut the cards and complete the cut, Lisa? Oh, that's great. Oh, dear. That's right. <laughs> Sorry. That's, that's good. <clears throat> Robert, would you be kind enough to... Uh, cut them again? Cut and complete. That's good. All professional looking. Right? And, uh, David, I wouldn't leave you out. No, I'm no. very kind. Cut and complete. Right. That's pretty good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cards and spread them out in front of you there. All right? Oh. You can see... They're a pretty mixed up deck of cards, yeah? <clears throat> and can I? That's it. I'm going to take this and hold it above the cards. All you have to do is take my wrist. That's good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go along the cards like so. 
All right? And when you get the urge to stop, <laughs> <laughs> you stop. Could which is all. silly, really, because if you got the urge, you just wouldn't stop. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lovely, I enjoy it. I know. There you go. So you just uh, stop as I go along, okay? Right there. Uh, okay. Right there. Guide me down there. Yeah? Okay, that's fair, isn't it? Yeah? To there. Okay, I'm, I'm going to move the card out that we... That you actually stopped me on. I'm putting marks all over it here. And what I'd like you to do, Lisa, is actually take this pen and sign your name rather large across the face of the card, all right? Would you do that for me? That's excellent. Uh, okay, that's good. Now, you can keep that as a souvenir. Oh, <laughs> In fact, you can have that as well. Oh, yeah. Gosh, you're doing, doing very well, aren't you? Uh, huh? no, now, the way of finding your card is to go through these cards one at a time and just find the card with your name on. Mm -hmm. All right. The easier way mm. is to take this card and turn it over. <gasps> no. And it's got your name on there. That's amazing. That's the easy way. Yeah. Now. <clears throat> Well. Souvenir. <laughs> now, <laughs> he just gets everything. Now, this is uh, <laughs> everything. Everything. Now, this is um, what I'd like you to do is cut the deck, Robert, into two approximately equal halves. Do approximately do? equal. Yeah, exactly the same then. Okay. Now, would you point to any half? Take them. That's good. And you've got to do exactly as I do. Do you believe in coincidence? Mm, yes, yes do. you do. That's yeah. funny, so do I. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. <laughs> Synchronicity. Yes, it is. I'd like you now to take the cards and just give them a shuffle, like so, an overhand English shuffle. All right? Once you've done that, you take the cards and you then cut them, like so. Yes. Yeah. You then swap top cards with me, put your top card there, and I'll take that one and you take that one. You place it on the top of the deck, mm -hmm. or your half. You then move your card, the top one, to the bottom like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my half face up, which is a black four. I'd like you to place yours at the side, and if it's the same, it's like a black four, it's like a oh. real coincidence. Isn't it? Okay. Is it on? Now, I know you'd love to have a go. Oh, okay. yes, of course. Just in case you thought it was a fluke, all you have I to didn't. do... No, it what isn't. I, I, prom no, it, it, I promise you it's not a fluke. All you have to do is just shuffle the cards, like so, all right? I'd like you then to d just take the cards and cut them. That's pretty good. That's all right. That's all right. And swap top cards, like so. Yeah, excellent. Now you place your card on the top of your half. Once you've done that, you then take the top card and place it on the bottom. I turn mine over, which is a red queen. And if yours is a red queen, <gasps> it would be <laughs> amazing. Yeah? You're dying to have a go. Yeah. Okay, here goes. Again? Yes. Okay. So remember, you shuffle your right. cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> or shadow thereof. Yes, of okay, course. Right, yeah. I'd like you then to take the cards and just cut them. Like so. Excellent. And swap top cards. That's all you have to do. And place your top card on the top of your half of the deck. And then place the top card underneath. That's good. Turn your half over there, which is <laughs> back. How can you choose a back when you should choose a face? <laughs> What's mine say? <laughs> soon. <laughs> soon back. Back soon. <laughs> And welcome back. You know, I've just been to America. Well, not just during the interval, but like <laughs> recently. Okay. <laughs> and I came back with uh, two dollar bills. And uh, somebody said to me, I bet you can't do anything with two dollar bills. Well, you can actually. What you do is you fold this one crossways onto that one, and that one crossways onto that one, and turn the whole lot over. And then this should give the illusion of penetrating the dollar bill. Ooh. Like so. Very close, that, isn't it? Yeah. Very close up. You know, talking of America, I'd like to introduce you now somebody from the USA. Yes, that is the other side of Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> would, you, 
He's Dutch. Would you please welcome my special guest, the award-winning magic of Tommy Wonder. You've heard it, I'm a magician as well, so now you all have your hands on your money? Huh? <laughs> no? Actually, it's not necessary because I'm not a pickpocket. You see, a lot of people think that magicians are pickpockets as well. Actually, I've been the victim of a pickpocket once. And I was walking on the street and he bumps into me like this. And in this moment, he steals my ring. And not only just my ring, he also steals my watch. And finally, he took all my money. Except the empty wallet. I was allowed to keep that. It was nice of him. Eh? Really nice man. I liked him a lot. <laughs> anyway, he had all my things. And while he was running away, I noticed that he put it in a pay envelope. I suppose that he regarded this as his pay. I don't know. But anyway, he had all my things. And he ran away with it. And all I needed to do to get it back was make a magic movement. And then our friend had no ring, no watch, no money, nothing at all <laughs> because i still have my ring my watch and all my money brilliant <laughs> oh yeah well do you mind if i steal something from you uh, no oh Carry okay on. that's the first time i hear that okay uh let me see well that's for the parking meter no <laughs> I'll, I'll put, use a coin you see, what I'm going to do, yeah. I'm going to tr try to steal this coin from you. I will give you this coin, you hold it in your hand tight. Okay. Yes, and you really concentrate, and I will try to take it out without excessive force. Okay. Okay? You yeah. ready for it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's try. You just hold on tight. Yeah. Yes. Uh, may I have my finger back? Oh, sorry. Th thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's <dramatic, huh? laughs> it's very difficult for me to get it out. Very. That's, yes, yes. possible, yes. Okay. That's why I will confuse you. Is that okay? Say yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I will confuse you with this copper ring, uh, washer, okay. you call that, eh, washer. I will confuse you with that washer. Now, don't watch it. Just concentrate on the money alone, no matter what I do. Okay. Look, her knuckles are getting white already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, well. You see, I'm going to give her this ring, and in its place, yeah. I'll take away the money. Open your fingers one by one so that I cannot exchange anything. First finger, yes. Second finger. Third, fourth. <laughs> there you are. You've got the ring. I've got the money. Huh? <laughs> well, just, you know, I just steal. It's okay. Uh, you know, sometimes <laughs> you see things and you think they are impossible, right? Well, there are also things when you see them, they are normal. They look normal to you, but they're not possible. And that most people don't notice because they seem so normal. And I would like to give a small example of that. I'll place this here for the moment. Uh, yeah, okay. And, sir, I want you to look at this deck. These are, they're all different. It's 51 cards. It's not a complete deck. I took one card out before. But I want you to slide out one card and turn it over. That one. It's amazing. This is, this is totally impossible, what is just happening now. Why? Well, I told you, this is 51 cards. Right. Before I took out one card, yeah. it was the nine of hearts. That card is not there. I okay. folded it up and I put it in that box. Mm -hmm. It can't be there, it's, it's not true. Mm -hmm. You don't believe me, do you? Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. No, I, I, I can try to prove it. Uh, let me see, I got a felt pen somewhere. Oh, it got washed a little bit too hot. <laughs> But that's not really a problem. If you just take off the cap, it doesn't matter, you know? You just write your name on the card. I don't believe it. Okay, wonderful. Now, you see, you're still convinced that card is there, right? Yep. I tell you, it's not there. It's in that box, and I, I can prove it. Because in the deck, there is no card like that. No uh, Nine of Hearts. Because it's uh, like this. Uh, there's no Nine of Hearts. There's never been a Nine of Hearts, actually. Because uh, there's no... No, nine of, no, six of hearts. No, 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 no. You see, because, like I said, it's in the box. And what I don't understand is how you managed to put on this card, which has never been on the table, oh, your name. Really? You must explain <laughs> it to me, because I don't know how you did it. <laughs> Okay, would you help me 
with this next trick? But of course. Of yes. course, thank you very much. You can be my assistant, all right? Okay. And what I have is a piece of rope, which you've examined. Yeah? Totally, yeah. You did. It's got two ends, one on each. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's also got a middle, which is right here in the centre, okay? And apart from the rope, I've got something here that was given to me by my Japanese grandfather, because... <laughs> No, all magicians yeah. have grandfathers, and mine was Japanese, so, um, you know, that's I it. I don't believe No, honestly, that. yes, and uh, <laughs> he, he was only six inches tall, but that's what he, <laughs> that's he, that's what he had. Harakiri, yeah, he did, all the time, yeah, twice, yeah. And uh, <laughs> this, uh, this, uh, what he did was, he always kept this samurai sword um, under cover in the corner of the room in case of an emergency. That's all he did, all the time. And he placed it over there in the corner, like so, all right? Now, the piece of rope. Have you got a ring, Leslie? Mm. You have. Can I use it? Yes? Yeah, oh, yeah. Go on. I'll give you a ring sometime. Thank you. you <laughs> OK, that's fine. Not too late at night, though. All right, just have a look at the engraving there. What's that? With love from Bill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the rope through the ring. OK, Tom? Mm-hmm. You can see that rope is through the ring. And Tommy, what I'm going to do now is tie this in a very pretty knot. Isn't that pretty? It's beautiful. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> it's artistic as well. <laughs> so there's tomorrow. Yeah. Now, what I'm going to do is then thread that end through there, like so. Would you mind holding that for me just there? That's great. And would you mind holding that for me just there? We'll keep it sort of slack like that. Also for the trick, we need this handkerchief again, OK? And I'm going to cover up the ring like so. Now, do you have any salt? Not on me, no. No, I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> now, what you do <laughs> is I go underneath like so, and um, would you keep that end up? That's good. Have you got your end up? Yes. Excellent. <laughs> now, this... <laughs> <laughs> Very important. Tommy, you must remove the knot. Would you do that? Oh, from the rope, yeah, yeah, sure. Remove oh, the knot. It's not. Thank you. Yeah. Very important. You okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Once, thank you. You're working so well. Yeah. That's excellent. Now, I've got to remove the ring through the handkerchief. I've got to find it first. Did you get rid of the ring? Uh, no. You didn't? Mm. You sure? Yes, yes. Actually. I'll tell you what, if you listen very carefully over here, you can hear the ring as it lands. <laughs> <laughs> a bell. And guess what's inside the bell? A clapper? No. <laughs> guess what's inside the bell? A ring. A ring. No, but a great trick it was. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Remember this Japanese sword? <laughs> there is a ring inside a there bell. There is a ring inside the bell, but not the ring. Not the ring, because the ring is actually on the centre of the sword. Oh. And the only way... <laughs> the only way to remove that ring is actually by removing that, removing that. Sean, would you be kind enough to take the ring there while I remove the sword? Because um, I don't want it to fall. I don't want to touch it. Would you place it on there? That's great. And Leslie, is that the same ring that we had a moment ago? Yep. It is. Do you like it? Yeah? Yeah. You yeah. can have it. Thank, Thank you. you very much. <laughs> and you can have that. And you can have that. And would you like that? Sure, yes. Yeah. And would you like that? Yeah, I Okay. And would you like that? You can have that. And would you like that? Yeah. And would you like this? Okay. <laughs> we could go on all night, but we can't. And that's it. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>